Hello. I'm going to show you today a, um, a Max for Live patch that I've built, which is pretty cool. It's a work in progress, but I thought I'd um, update people as to where I'm at because I'm pretty happy with the results. It's an RGB to parameter device. So what it does is it takes a video input here. It, has, it, it analyzes the R, G, and B values, the red, green, and blue, and it gives you a level. Um, we can boost this with saturation, contrast, or brightness. We can scale it. We've got RGB scalers and a bias, which will let you change the colors around um, or make them more intense if you're not getting what you want. Over here, we've got a signal booster. So this will, again, scale it, but boost the signal. So if you're not getting much dynamics, if one of the levels is flickering around, um, you can move this and it will boost the signal. Um, we've got some graphs over here, RGB and average, just to help show you what's going on. This part's pretty cool. This is a section where you can drag a slider, and if the value goes over that particular point, it will trigger a clip slot that you determine by these drop-down menus here. So that's good if you uh, if you if you want to have kind of sounds uh, like hits happen when um, when when something really peaks. Then over here we've got a um, a rack, and this rack has four chains, RGB and average. Uh, and this will, they, these have multi-mappers, so you can take the input signal of the red, green, blue, or average and split it 10 ways and then assign them to anything with an Ableton Live, pretty much, and you have minimum and maximum values. So to give you a quick idea of how this works, let's just open up this one here. This just goes crazy, just to show you how it works. So there's our signals here, but that's not very fun. I'm just going to open up, uh, let's use this one here. This one has a nice slow panning signal so you can see how the levels are coming as they get red green and blue from here now what you'll notice is i've got these assigned to various things um over 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 here so red green blue are assigned to the volume of a red green blue and an average sorry track so these are the volume levels and i've just put some cinematic kind of drones in here for now uh, i'm just going to disable these clips for now so we don't play them so let's just have a listen to how that sounds like So as the video changes, we get different drones coming in and out. That's pretty cool. Now let's enable these again. Now these are the hits. So if we go over here and turn these devices on, you'll see when this device hits a certain point. It will trigger a clip. So see the triggering in the in there. Pretty neat. Now let's just stop that and I'll stop the video for you. Um, over here I've got a granulator which is a great new Maxwell Live patch by um, Robert Hink, one of the, or Mono Lake, one of the great brains behind complicated uh, Ableton things and I've got a, um, I've loaded up a sample into it. It's kind of a sampler that lets you take particular granules and play them in crazy ways. Um, the original sample, what is it? Gregorian, Greg, just to play the original so we can hear it. Turn it on. So it's just a Gregorian chant. So I'm just going to solo this. And if we get our video track playing, have a look over here. Actually, go over to the multi map. We can see that I've got the red uh, is assigned to the grain and the frequency of a filter, the green is assigned to the track, uh, the file position. And the input blue is on the grain random, so to randomize the grain size and spray. And average is just on time. So that does cool shit as this moves around. Based on the video. So let's load a video with a bit more substance just to show you. Um, this is a Mandelbrot zoom that I got off, um, borrowed off YouTube. And let's just have a look. Let's just bring up all the other elements. Turn the volume down off the original. <laughs> so not much happening at the moment. I'm just going to make it full screen because it's... Oh, we'll let it play out for a minute. If it starts glitching out, I'll play it full screen. Bring it pop up.
So that's pretty cool. Just remember this video is triggering the sound. Usually you find a lot of things where the sound follows the video, kind of what you'd find in a lot of audio players that have their visualization plugins. I attempted to do the opposite with this. Let's just make it full screen and I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoy it. I'll be putting out the full version sometime soon. Cosm.co.nz, thanks.